Hello, I'm Lee with uh, Smarter Voice. I'm a designer. And today I'm going to give you a quick tip in Photoshop. I'm working in Photoshop CS6. And I'm going to actually show you how to alter um, the custom shapes that you bring into your document. So um, right now I'm just creating a simple UI for a smartphone um, player. And I want to put the volume controls in here right now. So I'm going to come over here to my um, uh, custom shape tool and I've got this one here and it's on an angle um, I have straightened it out so I've got this one that I'm gonna use so uh, I have this over here and I'm gonna place that there and I want two of those so I'm gonna go control J on my computer you can uh, always drop it down here and and hit that little page icon down there it will duplicate your layer for you just going to line these up and I'm going to select both of them and come up to align and I'm going to align their centers so that they line up straight. We're good. Okay, so now what I'm going to show you is this one here. I want this one to be the lower volume so I need to take out two of these rings. Um, what I could do is rasterize the layer and then just erase them but then I'm stuck with this size or smaller um, and it won't scale up anymore because this is a uh, smart shape, uh, smart object, sorry. It's a vector. So I can basically infinitely make it larger, infinitely make it smaller until it disappears. I guess that's not infinite. Um, so anyway, I want to alter the actual shape itself rather than just erasing parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here nice and tight so I can see what I'm doing because I'm blind move that down okay and then I'm gonna grab my pen tool which is over here in your tools and I'm gonna select the one that says delete anchor point now it's given me the outline of the shape and when I click on one of those suddenly I've got all the anchor points so I'm just gonna start clicking on them just one at a time I could um, no never mind so I'm just gonna to continue to delete these oops oops Ooh, thank God for the history palette. Okay. I told you I was blind. Okay. I'm getting rid of all of those. Okay, so now that they're gone, I'm going to zoom back out again. And you can see that I have actually altered that shape itself, and it's still scalable because it's still a vector object. It's still a smart object. Yay! Uh, just so you know, I haven't altered the original it doesn't do that so um, if you wanted this shape if you want to save that shape you need to select that shape come on up to your define custom shape found it and I can hit OK and uh, now when I come into my custom shape tool it's gonna be right at the bottom Boop, there it is and hooray for me great thanks